Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I completed 14 days of Keisha's advent calendar. So I'm going to share what I did. I am using a narrow uh, cheek sparrow um, and this is an archer and olive that I have inside here. It is super chunky because the 14 days really uh, made so much bulk to this album uh, so I can't even like put the string it's like really I'm afraid the string's gonna pop so but this is what I have in here um, and I completed it so I wanted to share you show you the pages that I did with the 14 days that we did this for so um, I have my bookmark here and I'm gonna start with day one and I'm going to tell you what the prompts are. Um, day one is the prompt is wasting time. So I wound up doing this page here. It says, don't waste your time chasing butterflies. Mend your garden and the butterflies will come. Um, I got this butterfly from the Dollar Tree. It's actually a sticker for the wall. Uh, and I used my uh, paints. So I haven't used paints in a really long time. I also used the number one from the Coco Daisy kit. So this I did on December 6th. So I um, really enjoyed, a lot of fun doing this. Um, I used acrylic paint uh, and um, really love how it came out. Okay, so day number two. Day number two is put yourself in the way of beauty. So I took that as beauty and this is the page that I created. I went to my uh, magazine art and I pulled out my box of magazine stuff, which I store all my stuff in a box like this. I'm going to bring it over to show you. It's in a box like this. I take magazines and I cut different things out. I have little pockets of, of different things, small words and all that. And underneath I have just teared out big pieces of paper that I take out from magazine. And then I get rid of the magazines. So this is how I store it. Um, I don't, I probably got this at Walmart, this container type thing. But this is how I store my um magazine stuff so this is what i wound up making um doing beauty it says look and find it uh beauty i put there and i really like the flamingos with the pink be creative i wrote at the top happy i got this from a card from um a Hanukkah card from last year that I cut out. Um, uh, choose joy. Um, yeah, so I got all these different things. I also stamped and embossed over here, which I haven't done in ages. So I pulled out my embossing. So um, yeah, and here's this is from a card that I pulled out uh, from the card over here. Uh, so I really like how this came out. And yeah, so that's day two. Okay, moving on to day three. Day three is do what you can where you are with what you have. So um, I made this page. So I wound up, I had pictures on my desk and I wanted to document uh, my triplets turning 16. Uh, so these are their birthday pictures uh, from August and I wanted to document this. I, I got made balloons, I used the acrylic paint again, um, I cut, I used um, my die cut machine, I put some, um, I learned how to do a folded ribbon to make these uh, bows, which is really cool. I found that on, I used a fork to make these bows at a ribbon. And then I popped up this, this 16 page uh, picture of them. Uh, so I really like how this came out. And yeah, so I went with the blue and pink and purple um, as a color scheme for this uh, page. Okay, so moving on to day four. Day four is arts is freedom. So this is what I made for day four. So this was a day that I went out and I went food shopping and I had to wear my mask. And um, so when I came home, I wound up making this. I, I drew a picture of glasses and 
uh, as you can notice, is very foggy. My, my glasses always fog every time I wear my mask and I get so frustrated. So, um, so I wrote, I want off of this Corona coaster and this is my shopping cart and it was on a Monday that I did this page. So, and this is the mask that I wore. Um, so, and again, I use acrylic paint, which is really cool. Um, yeah, very colorful. Um, and I love how this came out and it's also documenting COVID. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Day number five, fill your cup. So day number five, here we go. This is what I did. I wound up getting a Starbucks cup and they've all been using it in their December daily. And I was like, okay, how am I going to use this cup in my book? So I wound up putting in, in here, fill your cup. And I... Uh, put it in here as a tip in. I cut it up and made it just the cup part. Uh, so fill my day. I did coffee. I put books. Um, yeah, art is on this side. Hugs. Um, yeah. So retail therapy, coffee cup, fun and games, read, uh, holiday calories don't count. I use my rubber stamps from Coco Daisy, I believe, or other stamps uh, things. And over here, I did Simply Delish, uh, Currently Loving, Dunkin' Donuts Coffee, Advent Calendar Art Journal, and December Daily Memory Planning. So those are the three things. I put a picture of myself dr drinking Dunkin' Donuts. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I don't like Starbucks. So... Just to let you know, I haven't found a Starbucks. Even though I got this cup, I did buy a, an iced tea from Starbucks just so I could get my cup. But I, every time I buy something from them, I just, I think it's a waste of money and I don't like the taste and yeah. So over here, it also says happiness is a warm hug, cozy slippers, snuggly blanket, a good book and living my best life. So those are all stamps for my stamp collection. Okay, day number six is don't complain is the prompt. So this is the page that I made. So here are six things. And I changed the prompts to six things I learned in 2020. And I did these six things with these tabby things that open up. So number one, it says to pray, uh, to pray, put God first is number one. Number two is to Bible journal and read the Bible. Number three is many ways to write poetry. Number four, uh, to make interactive pages for December daily. Number five, how to clean the dishwasher and the vacuum. Number six, how to manifest and make a vision board. So those are the six things that I learned during 2020 uh, home sweet home. So yeah, and I used my Coco Daisy stamp sets and I used my um, rubber stamps and I used stamp pads to make the background. Um, and it, I used this Coco Daisy um, snowflakes going up down the side. Okay, day number seven. Day number seven is um create your comfort zone and this is what i made okay so day number seven was create your comfort zone but because it was the first day of hanukkah i wound up doing crazy nights uh get lit hanukkah and that's what i did with uh paint and all that so that's that there okay Day number eight is bring some color. So here is my day eight and I did color. It says be a pop of color in a black and white world. So I used, um, I believe I used um, Stampin' Up crayons to make this, watercolor crayons to make this page to make it very bright and vibrant. It says, find joy in, in each day, always. Um, live, laugh, love, grow. Uh, so that was day eight. Okay, day number nine is um, connection. 
day number nine. So here is my connection page. I learned this from um, Allie Edwards uh, in the triangle class uh, for December daily. Um, and I made the heart um, again because this was the second time I made the heart. And I wound up calling, the prompt was to call somebody. So I called my mother and my um, grandmother. So that's what I put here. So I called them and I wound up making this heart page uh, using all Coco Daisy um, stuff. So we're going on to the next one, which is prompt number 10. Uh, and 10 is light and shadows. So I wound up doing this black and white gray page and I really like how this came out. I bought this rubber stamp uh, digital um, thing for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you could fill it in whatever you want. So I, I put in I am feeling and it works out really well. I found a whole bunch of Snoopy stuff that I added to this page um, and I really liked how they um, worked out really well. I'm going to bring it, zoom it in a little bit so you can see. Um, right here it's a Snoopy. He's like kind of like out of it and that day I am feeling I had a really lousy headache. So um, I wrote lousy, bad, headache, tired, sleeping a lot. So, and that worked out perfectly with that one. Then this one was anxious, uh, got nothing accomplished, lots of YouTube watching, no art done behind and mad. So that's how I felt on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, inspired but doubtful, accomplished, scared of snow and blackouts. So that was my little Snoopy there. And then I didn't finish writing. Actually, we're on. I didn't finish writing. It says a wake up early and creative. I still need to fill in. Today is Friday. So I still need to fill in Friday. But um, yeah, so this is my little um, Snoopy. I uh, wasn't sure if we were going to go to the eye doctor or not because um uh, it snowed wasn't sure so that's why i put the question mark snoopy on there so um i use this coco daisy uh tip in and it says feeling and on the back side it says trust the timing of your life happy that's life uh and as i said today is the eight today is the 18th so i need to fill in uh my journaling there uh then saturday sunday and living the dream and i did black and white so that is that. Now we're going on to day 11, which is one line a day. And that's this here. Uh, and now I didn't fill this out, but the page is made because um, it's going from the 17th to the 30th of December. So the story, do one word a day type thing. And day 17 was snow and day 18, which is today, we're having pizza. So I put pizza in there one word a day to wrap up your day so that's what i'm doing for this um prompt here the next prompt was uh day 12 which is small success and here is my day 12. uh we actually went out to the eye doctor for my daughter and it says tori which is my daughter it's time for some eye doctor uh, this is on Thursday. We must go get it done. So this is I and this is supposed to be like Tori. This is magazine art. Uh, get new glasses and contacts. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. So that's that one. Um, and then day 13 is my passion. And here is my passion. I use Coco Daisy's January kit. Um, really loving the new kit with the new colors with the pastel colors. So it says passion, which is my art. Uh, love this life. You got this. Change is good. A work at work at it a little bit every single day. Uh, every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't stop me now. So that is that prompt. Really love how that came out. I just use markers to uh, put little dashes on the background. Um, and then day 14, which is the last day, 
um, and it the prompt is the next seven days. So this is what I wound up using Coco Daisy January kit again, uh, and I used the little bird, and I uh, put in uh, Monday um, one to seven, uh, Saturday to Friday. It actually goes. It says let's do this, and then I put a one word or two words uh, to do each day. So Saturday I want to bake. Sunday I want to rest. Uh, Monday I want to see the lights. Uh, Tuesday I want to drive with my kids. So uh, yeah, they need to practice their driving. Hopefully there won't be any more snow. And then on Wednesday I like to see a movie. And on Thursday I want to play cards. I We love this game called uh, Palace. Uh, it's a card game. Uh, that I love to play and that's Christmas Eve and normally I don't see my kids on Christmas Eve but this year is going to be so much different so they're going to be home uh, so I'm hoping that um, they'll play some cards with me and the last thing was on Friday which is Christmas Day we will do a phone call because we are not visiting uh, family because of COVID so uh, that's why I wrote call here so that's uh, the next seven days so this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I want to continue doing some type of art every single day. It was a lot of fun to do this. So the Facebook group that I got this advent calendar from is called Everything Art Playground. So if you want to join it, I will put the link to their, um, to their group below. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in another video. Bye.